Hey Tommy, this is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on how you can get more online exposure. So right now I'm on your Instagram page, Tommy Tiles LLC. So it's good you mentioned you're based in Staten Island, uh, New York, Jersey, and Pennsylvania. You do bathroom and kitchen remodelings. Um, remodels, my bad. So going down here too, it's good you post a lot of your different projects on Instagram. Like the more you post, the more that Google, um, Instagram's going to want to show off your posts as well too. Especially if you use the right right hashtag, so that could be like kitchen model, bathroom model, whatever locations you're serving, as well too, or whatever locations that the job was completed in. So yeah, the, this is all nice work too, and you're building up a portfolio too by showing off all your work. And it's good you post your Google Map page here too in the description. But I'm also going to show you a little bit later how you can use a website to your advantage as well too. So go into your Google Map listing. For Tommy Tiles LLC, you got 21 reviews at five star reviews, which is awesome. And then going down here, there's definitely some more work we want to do. I'm going to cover that at the end, though. First, I'll show you, I'm going to show you what happens when somebody searches for kitchen remodeling in Staten Island, New York, where you're located. So, first thing we see here is the map portion of Google, and the top three people get the most traffic. So, we've got Staten Island Kitchen Cabinets Manufacturing, New York Kitchen Design, and then style granite and kitchen cabinets so out of these um people this looks like a good opportunity for you to rank because this guy's missing a website once we move past the map portion we get to the organic section and this is where another place where you want to own space so on page one so we got yelp then home advisor let's see kitchenmagic.com looks like that's a page on staten island we go down here's h-o-u-z-z -Z. See that okay, then Dream Kitchens. Okay, then there's Baltimans. So, you know what? We're gonna go, let's go to Dream Kitchens and Baths. I was gonna go to Baltimans, but Dream Kitchens and Bath is ranked higher, so we're gonna take a look into their site a little bit. But first, I want to show you too. I want to go back down here, go further down. See right at the bottom here, those are advertisements, those are people who are paying to be on page one. So they're renting that space on page one. And it's always better to own them, right? So we're going to take a look into Google search right now. All right. So I'm going to show you some stats on Google search. So page one actually gets 91 and a half percent of Google traffic. You see there's a significant drop off once you leave page one and hit page two. Oh, it goes all the way down to 4.8%. So if a business is not found on page one, for their specific service for that keyword like whether kitchen remodeling construction it's going to be much harder for them to be found on google and 47 percent of the time people conduct a google search it is for local business service of some sort but not all traffic on page one is created equal so you see like the top three spots get the most traffic you got a top three organic spots along with the top three map listing you're gonna have a lot of traffic coming away there's a huge difference between getting the number one spot and that last spot you get 30 percent Third, number one spot gets 30% more traffic than that last spot. If you get, um, so if you have those things, the top three spot map spots going with the top three organic, you're gonna have a lot more website visitors and traffic. And the more website visitors you will have, will in turn lead to more phone calls and inquiries. And then in turn, those will lead to more customers and close jobs. And then with the extra revenue, you can grow your business even further. So you can even businesses get like thousands of dollars more per month by having positions on page one if not more so take a look here at dream kitchens and baths so you see that their website's a little outdated in my opinion but it's like simple they have descriptions about what they do and anytime you have a website you always have to think to yourself what's the first action with the user to take so you always want to make sure they have a means to contact you so you just want you always want to have a clickable phone number at the Top left, when it's clickable, they can call you on a mobile device. And then to the right, you always want to have a contact form so they can reach you via email. And see right here, it doesn't really look like they have that phone number on there. So it's like you always, so it's just like, hey, and with that contact form right above it, you want to say something like get a free quote or get a free estimate to give them more incentive to fill out that contact form and reach you via email. So right here, there's no clear call to action. Like, what do you, what do you want us to do? Like, you, want to just, you always want to make sure about that. You want to make sure the customer has a way to contact you for a free estimate. And while like, and it's always good to have a nice looking website, but that's not what Google looks for. They look for authoritative content. So you, you want to make sure you have at least a thousand words on your homepage. And then 
you want to have at least 500 words on each service page. So service pages could include like kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodeling. I saw you do tile, so tile installation, like tile repair or tile removal if you do that too. Definitely put a gallery there too. You want to have as much information as possible about tiles and remodeling. You want to be the Wikipedia of that in Staten Island. So another way too you can add more content is you can make blogs, giving your thoughts and opinions on the matter. That's another way to add more information. Even getting to like 2,000 words on the home page or 1,000 words on the service pages is also great. You just want to have as much content as possible. And while having lots of great authoritative content is very essential, just one piece of the puzzle, another thing you'll need are backlinks. Backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. It's similar to being a kid at a school trying to rise up in popularity with Google being the judge of the school. The kid could be good looking have, and have great personality, but what's the point if, if he or she's not getting the votes of confidence from their peers in the popular kids? So let's say, for example, the New York Times wrote an article about a project you did and how good it was. And they had your website link on there, and they gave you a follow. Google would see that and be like, oh, NewYorkTimes.com likes Tommy Tiles. We're going to move them up the rankings. Then you'll find more and more of those popular sites. But if you put your website link onto a new site called Joe's um, Average Joe's Titles Tiles.com, and they gave you, they had your, you had your website link on there, and they gave you a follow, Google would see that and be like, oh, never seen Joe's Tiles before. Who is this guy? And they like Tommy Tiles. We're going to keep the ranking the way it is. His opinion doesn't carry any weight. So we're going to go into a tool called Ahrefs. So we're going to do an overview for Dream Kitchen and Baths SI.com. So Ahrefs, yeah, this tells you how a website does within the search engines. So, okay, let this load up. Okay, so they rank for 221 organic keyword searches that they appear in those. They have 476 backlinks. So with backlinks, it's not all about, it's always good to have more than the next best guy, but it's all about the quality though. You want to make sure you have a lot of quality backlinks. And another thing too, you see their traffic has a value at $405. So what that means is that they're generating revenue from being in the search engines. So let's take a look to see which keywords they rank for. So Dream Kitchens and Baths, they get a lot of traffic from that 350 times a month. They're at position five. Basement kitchen net. See large bathrooms. The kitchen remodeling Santa Island's one you want to get. Search 40 times a month. They get traffic from that. The kitchen remodel Santa Island's 20 times a month. So dream kitchens, they get a lot from that. The dream kitchen keywords. The kitchen Staten Island. Even like home remodeling, if you do that, definitely like bathroom and kitchen remodeling. Definitely you want to be ranking for tile keywords as well, too. Think about the specific tiles you work with. Could be like Mediterranean style tiles. Definitely want to be ranking there. Well, bathroom remodels, Staten Island is oh, 30 times a month. Get searched that. So you want to have definitely be trying to rank for that too. Take a look at some of their backlinks. So as I um oops, as I mentioned before, backlinks, it's you want to make sure that you, um it's all about the quality. You want to be linking up as, with as many sites that are relevant to what you do as possible. So that's a lot of construction, home improvement, remodeling, tiles. New York, Staten Island, New Jersey, depending on which locations you work, you want to have as much information as possible. So, and we're going to take a look at so their links to see where we can take where we can copy some of them. You can actually do that. See who your competitors are linking to, and then link to the same sites. So definitely, like looks like Yellow Places, you can get one from there. Owler. See some other ones. Home Wallpaper would be could be a good one because if you're in home improvement. Let's see interior design could be another good one as well Let's see kitchen I see a kitchen one. Oh, I see a Staten Island blog post that could be a good one as well too and to rank in the map portion of Google one thing you'll need are citations citations the number of times that your business name phone number and address are listed across the web and you want to make sure that you have 50 to 100 plus more citations in your competition but sometimes having way more citations in your competition won't always leapfrog you in the rankings so we're going to go into a, a heat map. So whenever somebody searches for a kitchen remodeling, a Google map listing is going to rank differently in all these different areas. So based off where your map was, I drew, I drew like a picture of somebody searching like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York about how the search results would appear if they're searching for like kitchen remodeling. Right now you're, there's a lot of red 
which means there's some room for improvement. So there's definitely some things we can do to turn those reds into greens. Let's just say, hey, you added all the citations, yet the ranking's not popping up. So some things you can do, you could build a website with lots of authoritative content. You can, and obviously, and make a lot of location pages too. So like if you want to, you can do one for Staten Island, Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan, even break it down further by the neighborhoods. And then in Jersey, you could possibly go into Princeton. You could make one for Princeton, Flemington, like Piscataway, Edison, Perth Amboy, Woodbridge Township, New Brunswick, maybe go into Old Bridge, Hazlitt, Highland, Red Bank. That's, a, that's one thing. You want to make sure you get those backlinks that are strong and relevant to what you do. So as I mentioned, the construction, New Jersey, New York, home improvement, you want to have those links too. And another thing too with your Google Map listing, you can utilize it similar to how you're using Instagram and Facebook. You can make posts in there, whether posting your projects and all your different specials. So that's another thing you can do. Also, another thing you can do to turn those reds into greens, add some geotag photos in there. You want to have at least 30 geotagged photos. So you can actually, it's simple as any project you're working on, whether it's like Plainfield, Staten Island, Brooklyn, Newark, Montclair, Clifton. All you got to do, take out your smartphone, take a picture of that project. It'll already come with a geotag coordinate, and then you can upload into Google Maps. You want to have at least 30 of those. And another thing too, as I mentioned, you want to get, up, get a lot of citations too. I mentioned that. You're, already, you're at 21 reviews. Let's say you've got 30 more five-star reviews. That'll be another thing that'll help. It'll be like, hey, it's like Google will see that you're getting all these rave reviews. And it'll be like, oh, this guy has 50 five-star reviews. we got to show him off in more areas. He's got, and he's doing everything else right. And even in your Google Map list, you want to make sure that you have all the necessary information they like filled out. So that's your logo, hours, what you do, your services, and so on. So, yep, that, I mean, that, that's just a lot of the things you can do to get, turn these reds into greens. So I hope this was helpful. We'd love to hear your feedback. I really look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.